I got some like fried uh, stupid bugs. I forget what kind okay. of they were. Yeah, you I bit my lip. Oh god. <laughs> Deep Silver. They have the you know the Dead Island game. Which I'm, I'm curious, how, how, how did you guys feel about that game? Oh, well, I liked it. We it reviewed it on our show. Mm -hmm. We we gave it good. I I probably would have rated it between like a seven to eight point five. Mm -hmm. If I had to put a number on it, it was <laughs> I had to put a good. very specific Why number not? on it. <laughs> it was janky, but it was fun, you know. Yeah, yeah I mean, it was, it was one of the. I, I, I guess. Okay, they, they they had that famous trailer. Yeah. Well, and it was running backwards, and it gave the sense that there was something emotive that might be happening in the game. I just found no, it no. so odd when I put the game in, and like you just get this kind of nasty song, and just people gyrating, and then you know death and explosions, and then you're bonking things in the head with a yeah. with, yeah. with a plank. I would like whoever made that trailer to make a game. But now they got Dead Island Riptide coming out. Mm -hmm. Dead Island sort of 1.5, not quite a sequel, and everyone knows what Dead Island is now. You know, no one's tricked into thinking it's about backwards slow motion dead children. No, 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 because. No, it's Who so, wants that? Right, But then right. they repeated that trailer for Dead Island Riptide. Like, they did it in a very similar yeah, vein. Yeah, and nobody batted an eyelash. So, they made a promotional torso. Bloody torso. Yeah, well, no arms, no head. I didn't look close enough to see if the nether region had also been separated or if you're just supposed to... They showed the very top of her bikini bottom. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. um, yeah. Really yeah. offensive. Yeah, people got a little upset. Um, which brings me to the, what were they thinking? Not, not, not even just having it in the game, like as part of the collector's edition, I think it right. is. But, you know, the video game industry just had this meeting with Biden last week. All the ideas of what people want to do about gun control, and now they want to do and see if there's a linkage between violence in games and violence in real life, which is they're going to find out there isn't one. Regardless, there's some eyes on the video game industry. Why do you announce this It's week? like they were in like a meeting for maybe the last few months and they just, just came out and they're like, <laughs> we've got it. It's just like some tits in a bikini, no head, no arms. Well, it's, just, it's a physical thing. So I'm guessing it probably was manufactured a while ago and they're just now marketing it. I mean, they didn't come off, you know, like the manufacturing press like today or anything. No, no. I'm sure this has been well, a part also, of their marketing plan for months now. That's but, also but, the thing is we haven't seen a physical version of this statuette thing, which is which is interesting because it there's the there's the totally totally out there possibility that maybe they did know this would be a complete shitstorm, and maybe they just well, released a Photoshop mock-up to get people talking about this game because they sure as hell didn't have a trailer that did that. Yeah, but if they did that, they would have admitted it afterwards rather than apologizing. Unless I want to be the one the guy who's time. really upset that they're not creating this thing anymore. Like, <laughs> the, the, way they marketed, the, the way they marketed it when they first sent the email out with a picture in it, they were like, this would make a lovely set piece on any gamer's mantle. I was like, really? You're gonna put that on your okay. mantle? Okay, let's just, Tara, I'm just, you, you are the woman here. Yes. Okay, um, you go over to someone's house, you may not know them that well. And that is prominently displayed in their living room, on their armoire, uh, on, 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 on the mantle. What is your first instinct? My first instinct would be to ask, what is this? And then they would say, oh, it came with like a collector's edition of some video game. And I'd say, oh, that's cool. But inside my head, I would really be thinking, oh, that's really lame. It's a little weird when you decide to kind of put your focus on the remnants of the act of violence. And I think that's where I started to find it like more distasteful than, than, than maybe other things of its ilk, even though I can't really think of a good correlation. I just thought it was ugly. That's that's yeah. actually another thing is like aside like the part of me that thinks about stuff as it's put before me. There is the, a part of you that does that. There is a part of me. I know. Believe it's it or not. The the part that His name tries is Stan. to think <laughs> critically and there's little gears they turn and they make the squeaking noises. Uh, you know, I look at that and I'm like, that's disgusting. They took the sexualized portions of a woman, they removed her head and her arms and her legs, and they released that. If you put like if you put that statuette in like a, a museum about like rape culture or battered women, it wouldn't really be too out of place. Like no, it's, no, no. it's pretty disgustingly symbolic of something bad. Uh, remove all that, it's just a dumb collectible. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't include the head or legs just because it was like too much work to get the detailing on <laughs> no, a zombie you, you, face, you, you, right? <laughs> and they all turn out creepy looking anyway. Yeah, but, but, but regardless, but I, I mean, there's, just a stupid there, there, there are reasonable adults 
that came up with the idea, that saw it through its process, and then decided to go ahead with the marketing campaign when they actually chose to. And, and, and I, th I think the thing is, this is not like the only time we've seen something like this. There, there's that asinine campaign in England for Hitman where you can put a hit out on your friends. Uh -huh. yeah. And it, it's just like, I, 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 I think there's efforts by many people who are part of the video game community, be it people who make games, publish games, who talk about games, and who play games, that would like to foster an image that we are not just a bunch of kind of Neanderthals that are just have these Pavlovian responses to anything that's kind of violent and that sexualized. That the tits and the blood yeah. on and them. Then, and then there's this. I mean, yes, it is a statement that this probably does help sell things, but it's just, it's just kind of just hang your head, like, can we just, can we go a month, maybe, without this happening? I mean, I try to think about, like, because companies like this, they have to create a collector's edition, you know? Like, they're going to. Which is a whole other discussion. Exactly, a time. whole other discussion. But when I think about what a figurine of something from Dead Island would look like, my mind immediately goes to a zombie holding, like, a cricket bat or something. Yes! That would make sense. Which would make, sense, which would make absolutely sense. But And the, the only reason I can come up with that they didn't do that is because it was too detailed and too much work, and they didn't want to put well, the money or effort into it. Here's a weird thing to think about is also, that's not the only collector's edition. They put out the other collector's edition, which has a briefcase, which or like a little suitcase, which makes perfect sense because the majority of what you do in the first Dead Island is open suitcases. And it also comes with like a little flash drive and like a baby machete or some stupid thing like that. But it's like, it's all stuff that kind of, it kind of works there. And like, it has it a sense of humor. Yeah. You know, it has, it has a knowing nod that you must be familiar with right. the series yeah. and what it means and all of its one, tropes. One argument that people brought up was like, what if it was, uh, you know, would it be offensive if it was like a dude's torso and like a little banana hammock? And I'm like, well, that's sort of the thing. Why isn't it? That would actually be really funny if they made his and hers. Because there's humor there. That would be... Because I, I, what this is... I don't see any humor in this. What I do see is something kind of lurid yeah. and, and, and puerile, and it's just kind of appealing to some, some rather base instincts. You know, I, the, the banana hammock thing, I think, would actually be funny. And yes, that isn't a double standard. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, why don't they, I, I had the same thing when, when I did my Resident Evil 5 review, because I really did take exception to what I found, if not outrightly racist, mm -hmm. was highly questionable in its representations of um, anxious portrayals of African men. And everyone came back with like, yeah, well, 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 why, why was Resident Evil 4 racist? It's me and you're talking race. But there's, I mean, it is funny, this reaction that, that you tend to get all the time, that it's like, oh, this isn't... I don't know. It's, 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 it's a discussion that I wish would be easier to have with a lot of the people out there. That, I think yeah, that there, there, there is... Gaming community is so used to their medium being attacked. I mean, it's being attacked yeah, it's by, exactly. the, by the government right now. It's being attacked by the mainstream media. And it's like, we're so used to going on the defensive about what is good and bad, or like what is being misrepresented, whatever, that when some when someone from on the inside is like, uh, hold on, it's like this kind of, it's like when a dog bites its master, kind of. I'm not saying we're the masters of the of the gaming community, right, but the right. people who are like, hey, this is gross and stupid and and disgusting, and like I don't think this is a cool thing. Everyone's like, you don't just why do you why do you have to say that? What's I don't think it's a I don't think it's a what's the big deal? It's just a toy. It's just a video game. There's way worse stuff in movies. I mean, like, I, I guess I can see this to be one of a hundred things for those who really are into the collector's editions is kind of like trophies of game purchase. And but uh, yeah, it's, it's not something that I would clear an area for. Yeah, definitely <laughs> not. I, I, I guess it, it also it does seem to reflect poorly on what these guys think of their of, of, of their consumer base and the people that want to be playing Dead Island. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think if I was a really good fan, really, really was into the first game. I would probably take a little bit of offense. Like, this is what you um, think of me as, as someone who is an avid purchaser and enthusiast for your game. No. I mean, that's, that's another thing to, to sort of take into consideration is everyone's like, well, I don't like it, but I mean, what's wrong with other people who maybe they want it? Like, why can't they have it? It's like, well, that's the part where you kind of like, who made an active decision to pander to those people yeah. who would like to have an over-sexualized butchered torso in their house? It's just... Those people are weird enough that they might carve that on their own, you know, and then post it on a forum somewhere, like, and then and then go and, and post really weird Craigslist ads. Yeah, it's it, 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 it's not the sense of desensitization. It's maybe the way that I, I think most people know that there's something kind of off about something like this, and you just kind of. It, it just seems to reinvigorate this sense of thrill at just kind of going against some rather basic senses of decency in society. Yeah. And that, I, I think we indulge that a little bit more than we shouldn't, and yeah. I think I, to, to a disproportionate amount in the gaming community. 
that, that somehow like things that are really unacceptable uh, just are somehow like that much more exciting when, when it's in video game form. There's, yeah. Anthony made a, an interesting point. I was talking to him about this. I was just, I was just like bothered because there are people who are kind of trying to defend it, and I'm like, yeah, maybe I got a little bit upset, but that's the thing is when there's something that's sort of outrageous, sometimes you kind of get outraged by it, which is nice because I don't feel completely really? jaded. Really? That's, that's why those right. two words sound so similar. Right, go figure. But he pointed out that like you know some of the people who are who are defending it maybe you know they're it's maybe they are they are teenagers either uh, literal or, or figurative teenagers who haven't really gotten to that part where they fully like can empathize you know how they haven't mm -hmm. I mean that's there are there are things that happen in your brain that you don't maybe you, you can point at things around the room and, and name what they are and spell them on the computer and like you're you're aware of the world around you to a certain degree but that's a thing that keeps happening as you get older. And you're able to sort of like really kind of not, not think outside the box, but just sort of uh, open open your mind a little no, bit. No, no, no. When, when, when you've been forced into the gutter enough times, yeah, yeah. You, you, t you tend to generate a little bit more sensitivity to things you do that might do that to somebody else. I, I, of, I agree. There's this like, I hate you, Dad. You're not my even my real dad, Brian. Slam the door open, you know, turn on Linkin Park really loud kind of reaction that happens so often. And it's like we do we do cause a big fuss, a big kerfuffle about things in the video game industry a lot. But sometimes it's like we want this to be really cool. A video game is the best-selling form of entertainment. Like the, the Black Ops Two was yeah. the number yeah. one entertainment thing of all time. And then things like this happen, and it's like, come on, you are embarrassing us here. Honestly, I just I chalk it up to bad marketing. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think at the end of the day, I I, I think it's just. If we could have had bad marketing a month from now, it would have just been a lot nicer. And you know what? I think the thing is a lot of people did get outraged so fast that this is not going to become some sort of poster child yeah. for the video games are to blame for everything. Well, Adam, that's out this there. is the internet. People have an attention span of about five or six days. We're yeah. going to forget about this by next week. You're right. And there will be something even stupider to be upset about. I guarantee you. What's your name? Uh...